All right, hello and welcome to the SECS Sunday Evening Cup Series Finals. Looks like we got Quick Peak and Back going up against Swag for this. I don't know if this is weekly or not, actually, but I'll say for this week's finals, I'm Joey from FMVP Dota, and I'll be solo casting this tonight. I just did the game before this where I saw Swag. Uh, spoilers, if you haven't watched the other VOD, close your ears. Swag going up against <laughs> Merkin with Grandma. Uh, Swag obviously taking the win over that as they're here in the finals. Dire team ban. All right, I'm sorry. Trying to eat and do the picks bans at the same time, so there might be the occasional dead air. But uh, banning out PLN Nakes, uh, the same bans that Swag actually took last round, and I would imagine have been doing the whole tournament. Pretty annoying carries to play against open a lot of options and speaking of options neither Nyx nor Batrider banned in the first ban phase Wisp and Coddle taken up by Quick Peeking Back what am I going to call them I got to figure this out I do really like their logo I'll say that first and foremost QP QP and B QP and B I can say that I can say that on the fly so Swag opts to take the Nyx over Batrider they played Batrider last game but this time they bring the Nyx into the battle and immediately Batrider going to be picked up by QP and B, and they had to expect uh, either one of the two getting picked, so I think they've planned for that, perhaps? Maybe they were hoping a Magnus would get picked up first, and then they'd grab Nyx and Batrider, but not going to be the case. Uh, they actually pick up the Clockwork, so that looks to be their offlaner so far, with Bat mid and then Clock in the offlane. Uh, Shadow Demon Darkseer picked up by Swag, so really good support in the Shadow Demon can uh, help that Nyx out land in that Impale. Not that Impale takes any skill to land whatsoever, but yeah, anyway. And of course the Darkseer. Gonna be really well. Uh, gonna be really well? Gonna be really good. Gonna be played really well by the Jesus, more than likely. Kind of his signature hero from what I've noticed. Ten seconds remaining. And there's the gyrocopter picked up by QPNB. So likely going to be their carry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd have to say he's going to be the carry. Clockwork offlane, Batrider uh, going mid. Unless they try to do like a Batrider jungle, clock mid. I don't know. I don't think that would be the smartest idea. And I don't think it would work. And this is actually a best of one final, by the way. Anyone watching is wondering. Lone Druid banned out by Swag. Uh, they played against him last game. Gave him a little bit of trouble, actually, just being so tanky. Really hard to pick off uh, when he's in that alt form. But this time he's banned out and he's not going to be seen. I don't necessarily know if he would have been picked. You see Lone Druid in the tri lane. It's not that common. Or even Clockwork, I guess, farming in that tri lane. Uh, Luna taken out by QP. And now the bans go to Swag. They're going to look to take out, I guess, uh, probably just supports. Supports and or offlaners. Not really guaranteed what any of these three heroes are going to do, but... Dire team ban. There we go. Thanks, Icon, for that information. Apparently, Ja would be an ex-Han pro, so... Well, um, he's probably the player to watch then for QP. Ah, QPB, that's what I should call them. Again, thanks to Icon for that. Uh, Weaver, uh, being banned out by QPB. Probably a pretty smart ban. Uh, is it? Yeah. I don't know, there's the last of the homing missile and the battery assault, the hookshots cogs, which would get Weaver a lot of trouble, so I don't know how effective he would be, but he's still a strong oh. laner. And then, sorry, Rubik, Jakirta banned out by Swag, as well as the Juggernaut being taken out by QPB. So yeah, it looks like they did that Lone Druid, just because he's kind of versatile, can do whatever, and then supports, uh, so Swag banning that out. Supports definitely what QPB needs. And then Luna, Weaver, Juggernaut, three carries, three pretty good carries that have a lot of uh, potential Luna with that high magic burst from Lucent Beam early on, and then of course their ultimate one-on-one, -on -one. Weaver. Remaining. He's just a slippery snake, and he's annoying, and the Geminate attack Five hurts, and then Juggernaut uh, with that Blade Fury. 
Uh, it's pretty strong with the healing ward to enable some push. And maybe they watched the last cast and saw Karma did pretty well with the Juggernaut. I'm sneaking some bites of food while we wait here. Not even gonna lie, I'm really hungry. Alright, so they do need a carry. So they don't necessarily have to pick the carry right now. They can kind of wait and see what they're gonna be going up against. But uh, it doesn't. I don't think mind games at this point are really gonna make that big of a deal. What carries are left? We got a void. He'll acquire too much farm with that, that pickoff ability for QPB, so I don't think he's the carry to go with. And for some reason, it's hard to remember all the heroes without looking at them all, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say I'd really like to see a tusk. Because that would be awesome. Omni Knight. So they pick up the Omni Knight. This is a little interesting because both... Well, you can't run through cogs if you're trapped inside with Repel. And Repel actually doesn't do anything against cogs. You still get that weird knockback electric shock. You don't lose the health and mana, but it doesn't really matter in a team fight. You just need to be able to get your spells off. So that'll disrupt it a little bit. Lasso goes through Repel. Uh, the slow from Calldown goes through Repel. The hookshot stun goes through Repel. The thing that doesn't go through Repel, or is there not even Repel, uh, Guardian's Angel will be really good against that flak cannon of the Gyrocopter, no matter how big Gyrocopter gets. There's gonna be, uh, how long does it even last here? Five, five, six, seven second duration of invulnerability to Gyrocopter. So that'll help out a lot. And the last picks were really quick. Lena picked up for some magic burst uh, and probably the trilane uh, with the bane nightmare whoa nightmare homing missile the light striker ray lands the homing missile lands dead or even just rocket barrage don't really need the homing missile and then sven picked up going to be played by karma and squee the mid player so i think we're going to see omni knight mid and if he goes up against bat or clockwork i don't know if he'll have that hard of a time so that could be a really good idea or it could backfire horribly. Normally how ideas go, but we'll see. You really should prepare for battle. And let's go ahead and introduce the dire team QPB. We've got WTF Guinea Pirate. We're gonna call him WTF. On the bane. Got a smoke, got some wards and consumables. Pretty standard. I pure straight hate you. God, these names, man. Not making it easy. We'll call him Pure. Pure on the Bat Rider, going with a quick bottle build. Tango's three branches. Mathis uh, in the bot lane. Lots of regen, stout shield, so off lane clockwork. Pretty much what I expected. Ja, the apparently ex Han pro here, so maybe the player to watch on the carry gyrocopter in the top lane with nine tangos, three branches, and slipper of agility. So lots of regen, maybe expecting an aggressive tri lane to just mess that health up. <laughs> Or uh, expecting a Darkseer, and he's going to need all that regen uh, to be able to stand against Ion Shell. Being ranged, Ion Shell shouldn't bother him that much, but anyway. Nestle here even has the little accent, so this guy's going all out. He must be a big fan of Nestle products. He's got the Sentry Ward. Looks like he's already dropped one to do a quick D Ward in the bot here. And now they head top, so Nestle playing that Lena. And for Swag, the quickly here, because I have I know too oh, much about so them, probably. Told. Squee on the mid, Omni Knight, picking up a magic wand actually to go against the Bat Rider early. Lots of regen, Jesus, Starks here, going on the offlane. Flex! Look at this, Vendetta level 1. No, just kidding. He picked up the Invis rune in the bot lane, but he walked past a sentry, so they know he's there, absolutely, so... But it will first force Pure on the Bat Rider to play a little bit cautious, but Flex playing that Nyx Assassin with the smoke uh, and some wards as well. And then Karma on the carry Sven in the bot lane, standard defensive tri lane build. And Jaxter... Playing the Shadow Demon with sentries for a camp D ward, but it looks like he won't even have to use those. Gonna be able to stack and get that extra XP that way. Not a problem. And I think uh, a lot of this game is gonna come down to this this mid lane, or how often Jesus gets picked off. There's a lot of easy disable up there to make sure they can pick off Jesus. He could find himself in trouble early on, but it depends how aggressive or passive he plays, obviously. And in the mid lane, though, 
Let's see the CS. Already five CS right now for that Bat Rider. And Squee, with the Repel, that actually looks like it drops the Napalm stack, so it's a pretty good idea. But a bit of a situational pick. And in the bot lane, it looks like we got some action. Math is finding himself in a lot of trouble. A lot of, a lot of chain stun. He's gonna, oh, those, those filthy creeps. He breaks the cog, but he chose the wrong cog. They block him into his own cogs. Uh, and that's gonna be the first blood, so Mathis drops her the first blood, and I'm gonna take a bite of food, so excuse me. So we saw Squee get pretty low there in the mid lane, actually still really low. Can he get the heal off? He needs to get the heal off! Oh, if he got the heal off before the knockback, so a good knockback with the flay break by Pure actually saved his life. I think he would have went down. Uh, maybe not. It's only... Oh, it was level 2, so 180 damage. Yeah, he might have actually went down on that. I don't know why it took so long for the heal to go off. Blessings. And in the mid lane, Squee! Possibly in a bit of trouble. Is it gonna go for the dive? No. The heal is always available. Even though it's not actually available right now. Uh, 10 mana short, and the rune is bought, it's scouted out, the pings go down, Batrider gonna pick up that double damage rune, does he have a bottle yet? Indeed he does. What's well, coming out to Squee in the mid lane? Oh, it's gonna be a bottle, the Jaxter. Did he deny it? He was trying to, through the, the trees, took a lot of damage from that alpha wolf, but no, not able to deny it. Would have been a big play, actually. And speaking of plays, uh, Guinea Pirate and Nestle here smoked up the Bane Alina. Uh, Darkseer opted just to go jungle so there's no one to even kill, and I think that's got to be the right choice coming out of Jesus, but the smoke gank, will they realize, uh, with no one to call the Mia in the top lane? Flex is actually here, I don't know why he's middle, he's gonna find himself in a lot of trouble, he's gonna run into both of the supports, he gets nightmared, he's nightmared up, coming down is Squee, with the heal, can he get the heal off in time? There's the repel, that'll be just as good, disruption there onto pure, a lot of damage going down. The flame break gonna be enough though, picking up the first kill for QPB. Uh, big team fight going down here, Jaxter maybe a little too far out. This napalm is just doing a lot of damage, so Pure getting a double kill. Probably gonna be a triple kill with six napalm stacks. Oh, that's not the way to start off the game versus a bat rider. And that rotation uh, from the supports on the top lane for QPB, making it all possible with that smoke cake, giving their mid three kills. I mean, the really good TP support and awareness by Swag, but they TP'd into a pretty high level bat rider compared to themselves. They're level two, bat rider's level five. He's got level three napalm as a result of that. And that's just those, it it's too much slow, too much turn radius uh, reduction attack. and able to get a triple kill with ease. And then another quick Radiant's deal by Nestle. Is under attack. He's gonna find Jaxer. Jaxer puts him under. Jax is there with the impale. This could be the death of Nestle. Top tower Indeed it's gonna be. If you come back. And actually, yeah. Clockwork just took out Sven, uh, Guinea Pirate on the Bane, roamed down. Dyer's structures Still kind of uh, kills at the same time there. It in the mid lane, Squee in a bit of trouble. Is under attack. Given that this final is best of one, that's a pretty ballsy idea to pick up that Omni Knight. I think, yeah, I mean, he's a good hero, but he's situational, he's hard to lane. And there's a lot of... A lot of disable here, like I already mentioned, that goes through uh, repel, and I didn't even mention the bane I picked up last there with that fiend script. Also going straight through repel, and a little bit of a ward battle going down here. So the sentry and the ward taken out, um, and the ward put down on the other side of the cliff. Maybe they won't see it there. Maybe it won't get dewarded instantly. Let's check out how Jesus is doing. He's got a soul ring, so it's not the fastest soul ring of all time, that's for sure. Gyrocopter doing really well in the top lane. Oh, Jax are in a lot of trouble. Does he have disruption? He does. Is it going to be enough to take out Mathis? Mathis very tanky, actually. Uh, Jax are going to go down. Karma going to be forced to run away from that. Can't fight. Could even die. No, no mana on the bean. Oh, no, I just missed a kill. Jesus. It looks like call down definitely used right there. Slow him after the surge, homing missile, oh, doesn't have it. Radiance top tower is but either way, attack. Jaw, the ex Han Pro getting a really good a kill good there way. on that gyrocopter. And gonna get the tier 1 tower uh, with ease, gonna appear. be able to last Radiance hit it. Last hitting tower is a little hard attack. at this point in the game on gyro, but no problem for Jaw. So 7 to 2 for QPB, finally it will go to the gold graph, yeah, gotta expect a big advantage, 3k, maybe gonna go up to 4k. 
with that tower last hit for QPB in the gold department. Uh, 3.5k XP advantage. And the supports, again, just being super active here. Some, some sort of old school Dota with just the roaming supports causing a ruckus. Kinda don't see that as much anymore. It used to be always saw. Nice light strike array, gonna land. Disruption by Jaxer into the stun. This could be the death of Pirate. A big light strike array by Nestle. Bane gonna pick up a kill on Nyx. Now Mophis is here with the nice cogs. Gonna hold up Karma. Karma gonna go down. Misses the easy light trick array. Nestle just needs the challenge apparently. But either way, playmaker there gonna be the Lena. That's for sure. And Bane getting that double kill actually. Mathis has got the mana boots. He's got those up already. Do a quick item check. Mana boots treads on Jaw. Jaw, where is Jaw? Has a lot of money here. Here, maybe gonna go for a Midas. Seven minute Midas. I don't know if he really needs to, but. He's already got the treads. Maybe he's just going for BKB. Or Helmet Dominator. Yep, gonna do Helmet Dominator. Strange Probably start say, stacking the Ancients with the Creep he's gonna dominate here. Attack. Will he pick the Centaur or the Hellbear? I say Hellbear. Or none of them. Wait, what? Oh, he takes the Centaur. Okay. Sorry, and meanwhile... Lena gets a kill on Shadow Demon in the bot lane. You can imagine what happened. Light Strike Array was used, as well as a Brain Sap and some other things. Uh, Moffat's gonna go down, actually, so nice little rebuttal kill. Another pretty nice uh, Light Strike Array. Karma pops the ult. Gonna be kind of forced to run away. Bane's there. Also has mana boots. Not level 6 yet, but gonna get level 6 off the death of Karma. And possibly the death of Flex. The supports for QPB. Just gonna definitely the MVPs. Actually hit 6. Use the Fiend's Grip there. Anyways, on Flex. Flex goes down, so that's 3 kills for 1. Uh, Radiant's in the favor of QPB. Under attack. 14 to 3 right now, so looking pretty grim for swag. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Has that ever been cause for celebration? We check out the Hey Zeus. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. He's working towards, uh, I would assume I no the mech, but taking him a while things. to get there. Okay, sorry, I was trying to close the stream. Uh, more fighting in the bot lane. Or close the stream on my other computer that was watching it. Kind of bogging down the internet, uploading it and downloading it. Bottom tower is being subjected to Another nice light strike array actually delays karma even a little bit more. A nice place cogs there. Uh, not able to chase at all. Being a little bit aggressive there, trying to catch back up was swag. Bottom tower and the bot tower not actually going to be denied. It goes down to probably this little pesky guy. Looking for to be more aggressive here is Mafis. He's got his chain. Indeed, he lands it. I think that's the first one I've seen from him. I'm not sure. Uh, Karma going to go down here. Maybe not. The heal from Squee is there, but Batrider coming in from the side. Nice little flame break to start things off. Karma is going to go down. They're going to continue the chase. Repel up on Squee. Uh, Fiend's grip in 10 if they try to delay this, or extend this fight, rather. Nightmaring. Jaxter's here as well. So pretty much everyone here except for uh, Gyrocopter. Guinea Pirate taking a lot of damage. Going to go down, perhaps. He can Radiant's wand and then brain sap, or he can just brain sap. Indeed, he does brain sap on Squee, so now he's back to 400 health, being chased down by four, but this napalm is just doing work. Squee now in a lot of trouble. Gonna go down. The lasso is up for the Batrider, as well as the Fiend's Grip onto Flex. Flex goes down. Nice vacuum there to cancel all that up. Jaxer goes down, but this is gonna be the death of everyone on Swag. Not even dropping a single soul as QPB there. And it went from 14 to 3 to 20, 3, 20 to 3 in a matter of minutes, so I gotta say, QPB, well, obviously, in the position to win this game, uh, possibly already won. But it is the finals, and it's just the best of one. Nice lasso initiate, blink up on pure hate. Gonna be able to pick off Karma on the Sven, no problem at all. And meanwhile, Gyrocopter, let's see what he went to buy. We saw him by the Helmet Dominator. Radiance, bottom uh, he's got an Aquila, he's got Shreds, and he's sitting on another 900 gold, so... I don't know, BKB is next, or maybe he'll just go MKB, Radiance, or maybe he'll just go Rapier, or whatever. I don't think it really violence. matters, he could get drums, but normally you see phase drums, not Treads drums. Could just rush Satanic, that would be kind of silly, because you wouldn't really have that much damage, but... Yeah, it looks like he's gonna get drums. He does pick up a bracer at least. Batrider with yet another rune.
Gui trying to farm up got kind of kind of dominated in the mid lane. 27 last hits, Batrider at 43, and Batrider probably with quite a few kills. Yeah, 7 and 0 right now. So having a lot more of an impact than Squee Radiant's here. Bottom tower is being Zero to and three. I can see why it was picked up, but extraordinary amount of stress. That tri lane, aggressive tri lane, was just too strong. I think for kind of any lineup. And just, so doing a really good job against a Nyx here as QPB, kind of writing the book. Pick a tri lane that's way better than Nyx and dominate. Good to go. Nestle with the solo kill on four. Maybe. No, he gets stunned up. He's going to go down. And the heal was there as well to ensure that Nestle didn't pick up a kill 1v4 as a support. Lena. Almost with the four staff now. 250 gold away. Is that Bat Rider? Going to be huge. Like the buckler's done on Jesus, although there's, I mean, the mechanism would really help if he had that by now. Maybe they could be turning the tides or would have started turning the tides already. But uh, opted not to lane against, well, the tri lane was up there. It would have been too too hard. He would have died no matter what. So it was sort of a one versus three, dark seer, and then is under attack. support started roaming and it beckoned Jesus to help his team, and it wasn't able to farm and just had to was forced to, into fighting when he didn't it want to. Top so I think just the picks and the lane, the lane setup here for QPB are kind of what's putting them ahead, as well as some great individual plays. We've seen some amazing light striker rays by Nestle, and there was a solo kill by Jaw onto Jesus the dark seer. So that was also pretty good. Uh, Bane doing a great job. Uh, dominating mid was pure pure hate, but I think it was a pretty easy mid lane anyway. Not to, not to say he's not professional or anything, but... Nice defensive disruption there by Jaxer. The wall goes down just onto two, and I think they're both going to get away. Mathis actually hooks in there, uh, runs through the wall. Doesn't even, doesn't even give a care. Napal being spanned out. The Fiend's Grip, the long range Fiend Grip, going down on Jesus. Just avoiding the wall there. They did a little wrap around. Uh, pop that Fiend's Grip on Jesus. Jaxter in a lot of trouble. He's getting really low. Is the Brain Sap going to be there? The hook misses. He actually manages to thread the needle. Guinea Pig going to go down, taking some tower hits. Lena on a point with these Light Striker rays. Impressive. Well, it seems that Radiant's top tower has fallen. Alrighty. Just pouring some Dr. Pepper there. The official drink of gaming. I would go I would go so far as to say that. It's either Dr. Pepper or Mountain Dew. I guess either or is a it's a pretty good official drink to have. Uh, here's the rocket homeboys. Clockwork with those rockets. Gyrocopter with those rockets pushing down this mid-tier 2 tower. We got Nestle here waiting in the wing. Gonna, gonna land those light striker rays. Oh wow, wait, wait what? Oh, he just stopped running with the repel. Although it would have landed, that's for sure. Uh, all five here in the mid lane for swag. There goes the call down. Not a lot happening. Flex maybe gonna get discovered. Squee jumped on with the lasso. No guardians. Angel. So Jaw gonna be coming out in full effect. They pop the drum charge to hate or to chase even. Uh, Mathis has got the hook shot up if he wants it. He's going mechanism actually. Uh, there he lands it onto Karma. So nice little hook shot over the trees here. Uh, nice disruption by Jaxter. Jaxter immediately goes down after that. Karma picked off with that Light Strike Array. And then the Laguna Blade. And then behind the tower, triple kill, double kill, whatever kill. QPB, 5 for nil trade. There's the GG's, the finals. So this week's, this month's, I'm not technically sure how it works. Maybe I should know. Uh, the Sunday Evening Cup Series final is going to be won by QPB. So Swag had a good run, that's for sure. Uh, QPB actually going to win it, not really sure. What all is really involved in winning this? But whatever. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm Joey from FMBP Dota. If you like what you saw here, Twitch.com. Sorry, Twitch.tv/slash FMBP Dota. YouTube.com/slash FMBP Dota. Facebook, Twitter, same name. Like and subscribe. Gonna be giving out an item set at 100 YouTube subscribers, and of course. Well, maybe not, of course. Some hardware prizes for a number of stream viewers, either a mouse or a mouse pad. More details on that soon. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and congrats to QPB on the victory here in the SECS. I'm out.